Hi, this is Chris Cole from Sweet Valley Hives. I wanted to make a video here talking about the false floor phenomenon. If you're new to worry beekeeping or thinking about getting into it, this is a, a, a peculiarity with the worry hive in, and it's not fully understood as to why it happens, um, but there are some remedies to it. So what the false floor phenomenon is, is when you install a swarm package of bees, they are immediately going to migrate up to the top and start building from the top down. We know that and we expect that and that's what we want the bees to do. But what happens is when they get down to the bottom of the box and they, they encounter the bars from the box below, they, they somehow conclude that that's all the room there is. Even though they're coming in the bottom, they're walking up through it, once they get up here and they build, they go down as far as this next box and they stop building. And that is the false floor phenomenon. Like I said, it's not well understood as to why it happens, but we do know that there are some remedies. And I'm gonna to touch on what, what we do here at Sweet Valley Hives. But some of the things that beekeepers have done in the past, they have taken top bars from the top box. Again, this is while the bees are all in here, so it gets to be a little bit messy. But you can take top bars from this box and usually like bars one or eight, that's mostly just comb. And you would lift that out and you would swap that for one of the center top bars in the box below. All that comb in, in the box below will let the bees know that that's now livable space. And we found that the bees will then migrate down and start building, okay? But again, like I said, that occurs while there's bees flying around and doing their thing and it can be pretty messy. There was a theory put out a few years back by by another beekeeper that, um, that the reason the false floor phenomenon occurred is because the bees will only build what they can protect. And we saw that and we weren't sure we agreed, but we thought, well, let, let's test that theory, okay? The theory was that the bees are gonna fill up this top box with their comb, okay? And somehow, through some however, they quantify their own numbers and the quantity of comb and, and everything else in the brood and they decide that, that that's all that they can protect and so that they stop. Now, my first question was, well, why did it coincide directly with the top of the next box? Seems too much of a coincidence that that's all that they can protect. But to test the theory, what we did is we took the top bars out of this box. So it was one big open cavity in the top two boxes. If the theory was true, if the bees only build what they can protect, as, the, as this person put out, then they would build down here and they would still stop, regardless of whether there were top bars in place. Well, I can tell you what happened is that the bees, and we did this in two separate hives, the bees continued to build down. So it has nothing to do with this, the bee's magical ability to quantify their, their own numbers and, and, and everything else. It has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with the fact that there are top bars right here. So what you'll learn from this in, in, in beekeeping, if you're just getting into it, there's beekeeping is all about theories. There's a hundred thousand different theories out there about beekeeping. At Sweet Valley Hives, I can talk for us personally, we, we like to engage in what we call evidence-based beekeeping. We don't fancy ourselves as philosophers. We're not trying to think like a bee uh, or bee. The, we're not doing any of that. All we do is relate to you what we find from an evidence standpoint. And that's evidence-based beekeeping, and that's what we practice here. So when we hear theories like this thrown out there, if we can, we're gonna try and test them. And then we'll let you know what happens. In this case, the false floor phenomenon is everything about the fact that they're hitting the, the top of the next box down. They're hitting those top bars and they're stopping to build. Now, how does Sweet Valley Hives go about that? When we develop this top bar, and there is an individual video about our top bars we talk about it a little bit more, but every one of our top bars has a, has a center comb guide and we put a whole bunch of beeswax on that. Eight top bars up here, eight down here, eight down here, and all that beeswax. You don't have to go shifting comb. We can tell, again, from the evidence that we've, we've got from hundreds of these hives that we've built and put all across the country is that the bees do not stop building in our hives because we believe all that beeswax in the, in the successive two boxes. So it, whatever gene tells the bees to stop, we've kind of unlocked that gene. And the bees in our boxes will move from the first to the second to the third box seamlessly, many of our beekeepers needing fourth and fifth boxes over the course of the year. Again, we touch on this a little bit more in, in 
uh, some of our product specific videos. But the false floor phenomenon is a real thing with Wari hives and a Sweet Valley hives. While we can't guarantee the behavior of an insect, we can tell you with about 90% certainty that you will not experience the false floor phenomenon in our hives. Okay, that's it for today. I'm Chris Cole with Sweet Valley Hives. Check us out on Facebook or on sweetvalleyhives.com on our website. Thanks for listening.